Sort is a great library which provides an additional layer of type safety during runtime. But when you have an existing project with many types already defined and you want to start to use Sort, it can be quite time consuming to create all the schemas for the existing types yourself. But here is the good news. You don't have to. In this video, we will check out a really cool generator called TS2Sort. TS2Sort will do the heavy lifting for you and will automatically create all the schemas for you by using the existing TypeScript types. Let's get started. So as an example here, we have a really simple project which already has some types in it. So we have this type person in here and we have a first name and a last name, which are just strings. But we also have two complex properties in here, which are object types themselves. So we have this address and this job, which are both imported from other files. Now let's see how we can create a sort schema from this person type. The first thing we need to do is we need to install the package. So we say npm install and we say ts2 sort and we run the npm install and it's already installed now. Now of course we could create a run command in our package JSON, but we can also run it from our node modules folder. So we call node modules here and we go into the bin folder and then we say ts2 sort. Now as the first parameter it needs the file which it uses to create the schema. So we say source index.ts and the second parameter is the path to the file which will get created. We say source generated and we call this generated.ts. TS. Now let's run this here and we can see it's already done and it successfully created the ZOT schemas. Now we can see here we have this folder generated. Now let's open this here and we can see we have this generated.ts file. And we can see here that it was generated by ts 2 zot and it created some schemas for us. Now maybe you can already spot the issue we currently have. ts 2 zot itself does not support to also generate these imported types. So the address and the job schema here are just of type any. So as a result, there is no proper SOT schema for the address and for the job type. Now, how can we fix this issue of ts 2 sort The restriction is that it only takes one file. But the cool thing is there exists a really cool library which can help us with this issue. And this library is called DTS Bundle Generator. So let's install it. We call npm install DTS Bundle Generator. Let's run this. And now we can use it to prepare our project so that ts 2 sort can generate a proper schema. So how can we do this? Well, we first call the DTS bundle generator. So we call node modules dot bin and we call DTS bundle generator. Now the first parameter will be the output file, which will get created from this bundle generator. And we say we want this under source generated and we call this prepared dot TS. Now the second parameter we can pass in here is the entry file. So the entry point where the DTS bundle generator will start to resolve the types and put them into one file. Now, in our case, this is under source index.ts and this is everything we need. So let's run this. And as you can see here, now we have this prepared.ts file. Let's open this. And as you can see now, there is this generated file from the DTS bundle generator, which contains all the types in just this one file. We have this address here, this job in here, and also this person in here. And maybe you already figured out why this is helpful, because now we have one file which we can use for ts2sort to create a proper schema. So let's now use this file for our ts2sort call. So we use our node modules here and our base folder and then we call ts 2 sod again and as an input now we use source generated and we use our prepared ts file and as an output, we want to store this under source generated and in our generated.ts file. So let's now run this. And as you can see, the SOT schemas were again generated successfully. Now let's open this generated TS file here. And as you can see now, we no longer have these any schemas. We now have this address schema here. We have this job schema and we have this person schema. And this person schema here references this address schema and this job schema. So by using the DTS bundle generator, we now have solved this issue of these any schemas, which were created by the ts 2 sort generator because it was not able to resolve them. So by using the DTS bundle generator in combination with ts 2 sort we now have a proper sort schema created from our TypeScript types. Now, while this itself is really cool, we can make this even better because what ts 2 sort also supports is that we add JS doc comments to add some information for the generator to create more restricted schemas. So let's go back here into our index.ts file and for our first name for example we create here a comment and we say at min length 
and we set it to five. And now when we run ts 2 sort again, then we can see that it will be reflected in the schema. But before we run the ts 2 sort command, of course, we will run again our DTS bundle generator. Let's just rerun the same command which we did prior. Let's run this here. And now we will call ts 2 sort again. Again, of course, with the same command as before with the input of our prepared ts file and the output will be the generated ts. Now let's run this here again. And now let's see what was generated. When we open the generated ts file, we can see here that for first name, we have an additional restriction. We have the restriction, it has to be a string, but it also needs to have the min length of five. Now, of course, there are many more restrictions you can set by using this JSDoc approach, which will then get picked up by ts 2 sort I will add a link to the GitHub repository with all the possible restrictions and the great documentation in the description below. So just check it out what kind of restrictions you can create by using JSDoc. So let's just backtrack a little bit what we did. We used the DTS bundle generator to create one type file from all our files we have in this project, which are needed in our entry point file. And we then pass this file into ts 2 sort which then created for us a proper SOT schema by using the TypeScript types as its input. Now, in my opinion, this is really awesome, especially when you have a project which isn't using SOT currently, but you want to migrate it from pure TypeScript types to a more runtime safe approach by using Zot, but you don't want to create the types all manually by yourself. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you learned something useful today. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date for the newest TypeScript stuff. And also let me know in the comments what kind of topics you'd like to have covered in future videos. See you in the next one. Bye.